This is The Culture. Hello and welcome back to the Cinema Wave News Brief. I am Darian Scalamoni and here is your news story for the day. The film that's coming out following the massive success of Celine Song's indie breakout hit, Past Lives, is actually going to be called Materialist, and it seems that she is getting her first casting for that film. Dakota Johnson, in a report by Deadline, has been reported to be starring in the film called The Materialist for A24, but also there are other two A-list stars that are in Talks to Star. They are Chris Evans and Pedro Pascal. If you guys haven't had a chance to see Past Live, it is now an Oscar-nominated film twice, as well as for Best Picture in the upcoming Academy Awards. It is one of my absolute favorite movies of 2023. I actually saw it while I was on vacation with my girlfriend by myself while she was going shopping because it wasn't one that she seemed interested in, but this film was incredible. A remarkable debut for Celine Song, and I think that her name has now been put on the top of the list of a lot of actors and actresses because of how tender and just really intimate that story was. But now she's going to be working with Dakota Johnson on this next project. And Dakota Johnson has been doing a lot of producing of her own as of late. But the next thing she's going to be doing is actually Madam Web, which is sort of an, a, a different sort of approach for her doing uh, a big budget sort of superhero project. And that's going to be for Sony. And she'll co-star in that with Sydney Sweeney and a couple of other actresses as well. Um, I've always really enjoyed Dakota Johnson's work from what I've seen of it. Cha-Cha Real Smooth is one of my... Uh, Probably one of my most underrated films of the last few years. I really, really love that movie. Uh, directed, Written and directed and starring Cooper Rafe. But also The Lost Daughter, which she did with Maggie Gyllenhaal a couple of years ago on Netflix as well. I really enjoyed that film. So seeing Dakota Johnson team up with someone like Celine Song is exciting to me. But when we get into the other potential co-stars for her, I start to think about a lot of different things. So Pedro Pascal is the first one that I had mentioned and if you don't know who Pedro Pascal is, you're basically living under a rock because he is absolutely everywhere right now. In the last few years alone, he is the lead in The Mandalorian, the biggest show for Star Wars on Disney+. Plus. He also uh, is the star uh, of The Last of Us along with Bella Ramsey as Joel Miller. He is rumored to be taking over the role of Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards, in the Fantastic Four from Marvel. He's been in Game of Thrones. He's going to be in Ethan Cohen's next film. He's going to be in Gladiator 2. So he's probably the busiest working actor in Hollywood, which makes me think, like, how does he have time in his schedule to actually fit in the materialists? But I do think that he has a lot of charm to him, and I think that he could be good in a romantic story as well. Chris Evans, to me, though, is the one that I get really excited about for this project because even though I'm a big Marvel fan... It's nice to see him sort of step out of the Captain America role and start to establish himself as a serious actor again. Um, not that his role is, as Steve isn't serious, but it's just a whole different realm of acting, basically. Um, I really appreciated seeing Chris Evans in something like Knives Out and getting to see him work with these auteurs, I think, is going to be really good for him going forward. But in recent years since he left the MCU, Chris Evans has been in things, like I said, such as Knives Out. He also was in the Apple TV Plus series Defending Jacob. He was in – he did the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the um, Pixar film Lightyear. He was the villain in The Gray Man for the Russo Brothers. He was in that really bad Apple TV Plus uh, movie Ghosted with Ana de Armas. And then uh, in the last year, he was in Pain Hustlers with Emily Blunt on Netflix. So in addition to that, he's got uh, the Christmas-themed uh, Amazon exclusive movie Red One with Dwayne Johnson that's going to be coming out in 2024. I be believe it's November. Uh, but this is just something that excites me for him because I do think – he has really great acting ability, and one of the films that I actually really liked him in, where it's more of an intimate sort of story, is Before We Go, which he actually directed, and he co-starred with Alice Eve. So if you guys haven't seen that one, check that out. But <clears throat> we don't have a full plot detail with this movie, but what uh, Deadline hears is that it's going to deal with a professional matchmaker who gets involved with a wealthy man, but still harbors feelings for the, uh, the broke actor waiter that she left behind. So... No idea who is playing who in this scenario. Again, Pascal and Evans are still closing their deals, so they're not confirmed to be in this movie, but it is confirmed that Dakota Johnson will star in The Materialist, which will be written and directed by Celine Song. That is the piece of news for you guys. Let us know in the comments if you like videos like this. Do you want to see more Cinema Wave news briefs going forward? I enjoy doing them. Follow us at cinemawavemedia.blogspot.com. That is where I actually publish articles as much as I can for some of these news stories, some trailers, other things like that. But you could also like this video. Let us know in the comments what you like. Please subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. We're just constantly trying to grow as much as we can. We have a lot of different podcasts for you guys to listen to. So let us know in the comments what you guys want to see. Let us know if you like the content and as well. Guys, really appreciate you checking it out. And this has been the Cinema Wave News Brief. I am Darian Scalamoni signing off.